Hey everyone, I'm going to do my six year long term review of my Crossman Vigilante air pistol. I've owned this for six years. I bought it for about what, $45 or $50. And they still sell this online. And I'll leave a few links below. The beauty of this is that, you know, it's good for practicing and plinking, whether you're doing it in the backyard or somewhere safe, depends on your local laws and stuff. But as a six year old or or higher in the California, in the US, I think you can actually um, just order this online. It's really, really good to practice um, uh, pistol safety as well as uh, marksmanship with this. So anyways, this is basically a 4.5 millimeter BB or pellet that you can use on this. It's dual um, ammo if you want. So it's actually very, very reliable for and very accurate you know, for what it is, you know, for an expensive air pistol. It's pretty neat in terms of, um, it's a double action where you can actually pull back the hammer by itself, or you can actually just pull the trigger and it will automatically reset to the next, um, pellet or BB. The sights are, are plastic iron sights. So you actually, I actually painted mine with whiteout. Um, and for the front, I actually put some really bright neon orange for the front sight, which is fixed. Again, this is plastic. So the front's plastic, the back is metallic or it's an alloy. And what I did to paint it was just use nail polish. I bought a really bright orange, neon orange um, um, enamel so that I could, I could see it, especially when it's uh, towards the evening when I actually practice in the backyard sometimes after work. But let's go over what propels the uh, the BB or pellet, it's CO2 driven. So this is a 12 gram CO2 that actually goes into this, um, into the handle section. And it's fairly inexpensive. Um, you could still buy CO2 cartridges. It's very, you could buy this almost anywhere at a sporting goods store, at your major big box retailer sometimes, like Walmart, or even online. You know, they have the Crossman um, CO2 cartridges online. And, or any other um, brand, they actually have multiple brands for this, or even for Airsoft or whatever else. But it's pretty easy to attain, and it's fairly inexpensive. It does get expensive later, that's why I do prefer um, pump systems, but this Crossman, you basically get about a good, um, about 30-ish, 30-ish uh, rounds before, before it starts dropping in pressure. So for target practicing, it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, and it's very accurate. Again, plastic in the front. And in terms of reloading, there is a button right in the center of the, before the barrel. And once you push down, the whole thing releases from the center. And this is a pretty interesting design. So pushing down that heavy spring releases the front barrel and it releases your magazine. This is neat. The magazine, they actually had two types for this. One that has um, 10, um, that holds 10 pellets. This is actually the pellet uh, magazine and it goes through this rifled barrel. Now I also have the six, um, the six BB version, but I rarely use it. I only use the 10 and that's the most um, available one you can find online. I'll leave a few links below too for the magazine refills. It is a double and single action, so the single pull of the trigger will basically load up the next um, pellet or BB and the hammer will get ready and prepped. As you see, this is uh, at safety. By pushing the other side on orange, you actually see it's um, fire ready, which is, that's why it's so orange and bright orange. That's why I also like painting my other things orange so I could quickly see it. It's for your own safety, so please use it, use the safety when you are changing out or servicing an air pistol, because you never know. Make sure you always treat these things with extreme caution and safety you know, to prevent any injury. As if you want more information on this, you can totally go to, to the manufacturer's site, crossman.com. I'll leave a link below in the description as well. Like I said, love this thing. This is, I've owned this for many, many, I've owned many, many, um, air pistols and other stuff and this is really fun to use as you can see there's a windage thing and right now it's there's if you look at the pin deck back there when 
the hammer goes back, that pin or that bar moves away so that the hammer can actually uh, touch a pin that's going to be in the back of um, the canister, which releases air and propels the BB forward through the barrel. Very interesting, very nice design, very simple design, and a very reliable design too. Never had a jam, never had any of these issues. This is probably one of the most reliable um, BB repeaters and and stuff that I've owned. Now, as you can see, the site, I already told you I already painted the site. I've added a, um, a red dot, green dot, multi-attack uh, site on it just for fun. I really do mean just for fun because if I put this on any other um, air uh, rifle, it doesn't seem to work very well for me. So for in this case with the Weaver um, mounts, it works perfectly fine with this air pistol, which is pretty nice. So very, very cool to go over this um, multi-tech site. As you can see, there's a switch on the side that actually allows you to switch it. And also from red dot, one dot, three dots, horizontal, and also uh, tactical crosshair. So it's pretty straightforward. You can actually change the and adjust the height and windage on the sides. It has these little clicky things that you take off the dust cover with. Dust cover is actually metal and screws on, which is nice. It does run on a CR2032 cell battery that you mount on top, right above the the red and green red and green um, light switch, I guess, or indicator. There are about five levels of green and five levels of red, which you could turn on and off. And it's actually pretty straightforward to use. The only thing I have gripes about this thing is that it's so bulky, um, and you really can't see anything else around it but i'm very used to just using iron sights so to me switching from iron sights to a set like this it seems like it's a lot of stuff in front of my field of vision so let's turn on the the tactical stuff for you as you can see there are flippy lids on this that came with it for dust covers which i appreciate and to be honest this is more for backyard uh, plinking so it's more for fun than anything else so fun and looks and there is some functionality to it because you could actually adjust it. Normally I just use the iron sights, it'll be fine. But since I got a red dot or green dot sight, it's great to just use. And <laughs> this looks cool, to be honest. I got the sight because it looks cool. Uh, but, and it also adds a little weight to it. That's the second good thing about the sight. Even though it's a little heavy, um, it does add weight to the front end, which makes it a lot more sturdier and steadier when I, you know, when when I basically pl a plank in the backyard. But as you can see, the different sights. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to green real fast, just so that you can see that as well. I did a full review of this site on my previous video that I just submitted uh, and uploaded to YouTube. If you want to check that out, check it out on the links below or on the side and there's also plenty of reviews on this um this low cost uh red dot site it's actually pretty interesting it's like around 40 bucks online i'll leave a few links below too about the site is it worth it mm, probably not is it good for this uh air pistol yeah pretty cool would i do you need it no not really it just looks cool uh, and it does help in terms of uh, aiming and stuff so you actually see below your target uh where you want to hit but at the same time, it is pretty neat looking on this uh, air pistol. That's the only reason why I got it for it. I tried it on other um, um, other applications and it just didn't work as fun as this. So it already has the mount rings for it and it mounts perfectly fine on the Vigilante uh, uh, mounting rails. So if you have the Vigilante or the or the multi tech site, leave some links below, leave some comments below, and also you know leave some comments and other stuff. Again, please use a lot of caution when you're um, playing w or using or um, servicing one of these air pistols because you always treat it as if it was um, safety first. You always treat it with the most care and the safety first, of course. Again, you know, a lot of people who are watching my videos are pretty much 
you know, in their mid age and just trying to experiment and understand, you know, different types of air pistols and, you know, they're just hobbyists like me. I'm just a hobbyist. Not anything more than that with straight and simple reviews and of the stuff I usually buy for fun. So I've owned other air pistols that are CO2 based and this one's probably a hundred dollars. This is a hundred bucks versus the Vigilante was like $40, $45. This one is actually cool because it looks really realistic and the action is pretty cool. And of course the ejector is really nice. That's the whole reason why I got the Crossman SR357. It was just for that. Otherwise I would say, you know, I still prefer the Vigilante over the, the Vigilante over the 357 um, for obvious reasons. It just works much more efficiently. But it's just cool that it's all metal. The Vigilante is part metal, part um, plastic. Still no big deal. I With the scope on the front, or not scope, it's more like the sight on the front, it does balance it out. It makes the front a little bit more weightier so that it's easier and more stable when, you know, when plinking and targeting, target practicing. So I do like the extra rails that's, that's on the Vigilante on the SR357. It doesn't come with any accessory rails, so you can't do all this fun stuff on it. And that's the reason why they put rails on it, so you actually buy more accessories for it and put interesting stuff on it. But by itself, it's actually very, very good. It does out of the box, it shoots pretty well, and there's enough adjustments you could adjust for windage and stuff like that. So like I said, out of the box is a very, very, very reliable and, um, you know, pretty fun, pretty fun plinking air pistol. So thanks for watching guys. Again, leave some comments below if you have one of these or any of these uh, air pistols, or if you want to see other air pistols uh, reviewed or stuff, I might have it, so I might review it. But let me know in the comments below and also leave some comments. And of course, like, subscribe, like the 9,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for watching and stuff. And of course, I know there's an interest in my Nerf modification ones. People have been watching that and asking about Nerf modifications. So I, because I'm stuck at home all day, I decided to do that. Also, I decided to review other CO2 pistols, which is fun too. And that's really about it. Nothing... Um, other than more DIYs and stuff. So of course, like, subscribe, leave some comments below, hit the bell button for more fun videos. Stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.